It was a passion of mine as well because one of my sons are type 1 diabetic and um, I also used to work at Tiverton Special School um, so it kind of just gave me that thing that there wasn't much out there for children on the spectrum um, and those with physical disabilities as well um, so it was it, since then it has become my main passion is you know I want to work with Send Offer as much as I can and give so much back to them. So I started teaching a couple of years ago and I saw the different abilities of swimmers and the different needs that were required and I wanted to make sure everyone was included in the swimming lessons. I love seeing the children enjoy their lessons and progressing as well because you see such a big difference from their first lesson to as they move stages and yeah, it's, it's good to see them enjoy it. I love that it's just the same as a normal lesson. We have lots of fun in them and everyone gets the opportunity to learn. It's just the rewards that, you know, then there isn't very much out there for them. Um, and making sure that they're all equal, you know, not to be discriminated against. Um, making sure that there's, you know, they have the same opportunities as an able-bodied child, really. Seeing all of the swimmers progress, whether it's a child or an adult, is going through their stages and achieving their goals. I like seeing how, for some disabled children, they struggle outside of the water, and I like seeing the relief that they get once, once they are in the water. The love and smiles that each child gives, really. Um, yeah, it's, you know, knowing that the, you know, they get so much out of it, a lot of them you know, love the open water and it's just giving them that water safety. So I'm currently in an apprenticeship and I do my swim teaching hours on a Friday evening after I've finished my shift and on a Sunday morning so I'm able to fit it in. I'm, I'm still at school so I can go after my school day's finished on the weekend. It's yeah, it fits in really nicely. The hours are very practical with it only being part time. Um, I have three children, all three of them are actually in the swimming industry as well. So, um, so yeah, it's become a bit of a family thing really. So with our quieter classes, we can focus on the swimmers and attend to their needs. Um, sometimes if there's too much noise around the pool, then it, they'll struggle with their sensory, so it definitely helps them to stay focused and improve on their swimming strokes. A lot of children with ASD are, open, are drawn to open water, and it's just making sure that they are safe within the water. If would fall in water, they would know how to be safe in the water and be able to get out as well. Because it doesn't matter if someone's disabled, everyone gets the same exposure to water. They might go to the beach or wherever, they'll come across water, so everyone should be able to understand what it's like to be in it, not panic. They should have a chance to learn how to swim, or at least float and enjoy water.